Welcome back with us, folks. Tonight we're discussing about last week's watch list, how we came up with a few of the names and how to perform during the week. We'll talk about Facebook, MU, Expedia, uh, Las Vegas Sands. Uh, let's get this through and start with Facebook. Look at how we, I'll put it back to one hour chart. We mentioned Facebook on Monday where this was a breach under an old support at 322.6. Look at this bottom here and this bottom there. Um, one thing that came to strike me was this is what it looked like on Monday. It was on a rapid descent. And I was under the impression that this could um, could be looking for triggering stops and then we could probably pop a little above this downturn line. Instead, I mean, if we continue this, I mean, it's it looks like it's always it's it continues to go down and then it could bounce from there. That's not why we're watching it. And I'll show you why I was watching it in the first place. So 330, 322.60 was an old support we breached under. And on Monday, I was like, okay, if we can stick above that, I've mentioned and we've played this over and over again, the line between 330 and, 3, uh, 330 and 335 is a channel where it kind of stays in i mean if you continue that it probably looks like that and it would probably look like this here so it's a channel where it stays in between now we're lower than that channel in the second channel below and i was under the impression that if we were going to step back above this line the 322 line we could probably reach the top of second channel which was 335 but instead of breaking it we tested that old support again why was this support and i'll zoom out a little bit to show you and on the daily you'll see how this i mean it clearly shows how it was support from pretty much a long time Yes, we breached a little under, but 330 to 322.60 is a long time support. So this is why it made it to the watch list because we were attempting to breach under and then it, it grabbed support and it became um, above it. So the idea was why were we watching it? We were breaching support. However, it felt like it could pop above again. So um, I'm going to still watch it because we're holding pretty well on this 322.6. And we prefer to buy the bottom than to get caught in the middle, right? Because if you get caught in the middle somewhere here, it's either, you know, you're red, you get into profit, you're red. You want to be in the, at the bottom for that, for that play. Now, Next ticker over is MU. Now this one used to be the black sheep of the semiconductors. Now it's getting some love and given the fact that semiconductors demand is extremely high and this one is not different. It has a lot of strength and if you compare the strength it has compared to the rest of the market, it is doing very, very well. And this is why on Monday we were watching it. We hit all time high. Uh, let me screw it. We hit all time high the week before here at 98.45. And on Monday we were opening on old support. And I'll show you that in a second. And when it sticks to support, um, it shows you that maybe we can bounce and retest the level that we had 
And if you look at this here, 98.45, and this is another 98, and this is very close to closing to the 98, where it closed at 97.50 something, well, 36 on the day, but this, this is after hours. Um, we are very close to a triple top and trying to break through here. So we were watching it on Monday, made it to the watch list because we were on support where from show you that in a second let's move out here this is the one hour chart and look at what it looks like it used to be this guy that went to buy all the way up to here and no i'm going to sell so it became this point became resistance this is not so long ago right it's 27 21st of december um and and then we are using this yellow line the 91-ish line as support, which we tested on Monday morning. Remember, I told you Facebook, we tested under the old support. Now this one is right on it. And it showed that it has a lot of strength. When the mark, even when the market is pulling back, this one is still riding pretty well. Now, next one over is, is Expedia X. E X P E, and if you look at the chart, it looks very similar to what we had just seen on M U on Monday, and made it to our list because of this. We were here on support, right? And here, look at how we're testing support again. We hit a high there, similar to what I showed you with Facebook. And then we hit the bottom and we want to be in when it takes off. Just to give you a small idea, from here to there, during the week from Monday to Thursday, the 190C, the 190 calls went from 90 cents to a $4 total. And this is next week expiration not ending on friday next week expiration so they went from 99 cents to four dollars just on this upper move so we made it to the the um the watch list for a reason came on support right there on monday also it was upgraded twice to a buy rating and had a raised price target so these are the things that we look for support upgrades and this was a pt raise so this expedia made it to watch list for these reasons now next one over now this one is las vegas sands lvs it made it to the watch list on if i believe tuesday not on monday so basically we had monday the bottom um i'll show you right here the bottom was breaking through and i'm not going to lie here pretend that we got in on this play no because it made it to my watch list here and here's why look at this yellow line again you know it be, it's support and support and yes it broke through pretty much just like facebook did right and then it regained here uh, it started the day before ahead of support higher than support and what i liked about it are a few things um, it was upgraded yes but we have chinese new year coming up and a lot of people are going to macau um, for the chinese new year which is pretty much the las vegas of near hong kong had a lot has a lot of casinos there so yes this was a good possibility since we were holding support that we could rise towards the a chinese new year coming up also let's me let me zoom out from this showing you how this this support line is pretty strong look at how it used to be pretty much testing here on support it tested support again tested support again and then it broke under and basically sometimes i think that they're going fishing they're grabbing a lot of stops 
cheap shares and then next day what happens we're still above support and off we go for the move and what happened on friday here is they got they have changed a few of the regulations for macau basically now this is becoming very bullish for them and remember that thursday we had um, delta airlines uh, reporting we also had expedia that we just talked about earlier in the week so basically the travel sector is doing pretty well this week so this is why this made it to the watch list so remember things that i'm looking at are a reason in this particular case we have the chinese new year coming up we have um the uh it was upgraded the sector is doing pretty well and i'm looking at the chart i mean it looks decent it looks like it's really well bouncing on support on all of these points so remember when we say it gets upgraded, it doesn't mean it's going to go up. It means people are going to look at it. It might create volume. And sometimes if they're creating volume for good reasons, like this particular case, it makes it pop and go higher. So I hope this helps. I will try to post a recap of watch list um, uh, as often as possible. And thanks for watching folks.